Hi, it's Hannah and today I'll be showing you how I shape my oval nails plus my nail care routine, so let's get right into it. So to start, I use a high grit file. This one is 150 slash 220. I use the 220 side, which is more fine and gentle on my natural nails. Since my nails are already oval, I'll begin by showing you how to shape them on a more square nail. I'm going to focus on the sides of the nail first, filing in one direction, nothing back and forth. While filing, I'll be slightly angling the file towards the tip, which will slowly create the oval shape. Keep doing this to each side until you see the shape forming. You also want to make sure your nails are a bit grown out before doing this since this shape tends to take off some length. Next, file the tip area, basically doing the same thing, nothing too harsh. Remember to gently angle the file over the tip until you get the oval look. Now for trimming my own nails, I do exactly what you just saw. I don't clip or cut them, I always shorten them with simple filing, making sure to always file lightly and being careful to not dig into the sides of the nail. So now that you know how I file my nails, let's get started on my nail care routine. I begin with soaking my nails for about 5 minutes in some warm water. This will help soften the dead cuticle skin. Next, I'll be using a cuticle remover and pusher. Right now, I'm using Ella and Mila's cuticle remover, which works great, and OPI's cuticle pusher. I'm just going to apply the remover to each nail and let it sit for about 2-3 to three minutes. Then, I'll be using the pusher to push back my cuticles, going in sort of a circular motion to help detach any dead skin. I actually don't clip my cuticles, but I do use some nippers to remove any sort of hangnail or skin pulls whenever needed. Now I'll be applying a sugar scrub from Spa Ritual to gently exfoliate my skin. This leaves my skin super nice and soft. Next up, I'm going to apply my daily keratin treatment from CND. This helps with a ton of things like peeling, white spots, splitting, and nail strength. I've been using it for a while and I love it. And now I'm using Ella and Mila's cuticle oil to moisturize my cuticles and keep them looking healthy. The last thing I'll be doing is applying some moisturizer to my hands. I've been alternating between two that are from Tula and Organic to Green. Both are awesome and I highly recommend them. So that does it for my nail care routine. I do this entire routine maybe around once every two weeks or so. I do moisturize daily since I tend to have dry skin and I use the keratin treatment daily as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to find me on social and thanks so much for watching. Bye!